Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights. Hey, I was rambling or ambling through my uh, local Wally World the other day and uh, saw this uh, knife, fixed blade knife, Ozark Trail knife on sale on clearance. It was like five bucks. And I'd seen these before. They've been around for a while. But it's a paracord wrapped knife. And uh, this is the packaging that it comes in. There. It doesn't say what steel it is, but I'm sure it's not any super steel. But yeah, just a simple knife. I guess that's the model number, 5032. And it comes with a fire starter here. And I was just kind of wondering, is this something that you would buy? Uh, I've got actually a second Ozark Trail fixed blade. Probably my first Ozark Trail fixed blade that, or knife at all that I ever bought. And this was four or five dollars, and I got this six or seven years ago. And it's a nice little knife. Comes in this, uh, you know, nylon sheath. It's functional. It's not the best, but, you know, it fits well. And I always thought, you know, this would be a great backup knife or something to throw somewhere just to have a spare around. Or, you know, i got grandkids growing up. Maybe this is a good knife to let them get started practicing with on a on a fixed blade, small fixed blade. Now, as you can see, the, the fit and finish isn't the best. You can see it's stepped right there. But uh, it doesn't really cause any concern when you're holding the knife. And, you know, it feels fairly decent in the hands. And I could always, you know, grind that down, sand it down some. But, uh, you know, what do you expect for a 4 or $5 knife, right? So, then I thought, well... This one was on clearance, basically, for five bucks. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's buy it and let's just take a look at it. You can see it's got a coating on it. We'll look at the grind on it. Looks fairly decent. Yep. So the blade, what do we got for a blade here? Our blade is... Well, it's under five and a half. Well, if we go to, where do we want to go to right here, I suppose. So four and three quarters. That's four and a half, four and three quarters or so. And an overall length. Oops, don't have enough camera here, do I? Overall length of uh, nine inches. Uh, it's partially serrated. And you've got some jimping up here. It looks to be rather, rather aggressive jimping. Yeah, kind of aggressive. Got a little bit, bit of a hilt or a guard there. Um, you know, holding it in the hand, it doesn't feel too bad. I don't know what it would be like, you know, with extended use. You see down here how that kind of comes up there. And I don't know how long the paracord is. I was thinking about maybe I should take it off just to see how much paracord that is. But uh, <laughs> I had never get it wrapped up again. <laughs> so, of course, you got the lanyard on there then. So, yeah. What do you think? Kind of, uh, call that a drop point maybe? Drop point blade on it. Here's your thickness. It's not overly thick. But then it comes with the fire starter here. And let's take a look at the sheath. Now, just like this sheath, it is nylon. However, we do have some uh, rivets here. And it's got a plastic liner in there, which is good. So it will slip. That Velcro wants to stick. You see it goes down into that plastic liner. And it does Velcro over. So this isn't one of those knives if you're trying to be quiet and silent because you got that noise. <laughs> but there it is for your belt. Belt loop there. So again, overall not a bad little knife. I guess you can stick your fire starter in there. 
I don't know, is that really supposed to go in there or not? Maybe a small sharpening stone? I guess you could carry it there. I don't think it would work too good. Huh. That's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, for five bucks, what do you think? Maybe, uh, maybe we should test out this fire starter. Well, we're in for a treat today. Got my little brother with me, little brother Kevin, home for a visit. And we're going to test out this uh, Ozark trail knife. Now, he says he's an expert with a ferro rod, so we're just going to put that to the test. How's that knife feel in the hand? Feels pretty good. It's about the right size. Three fingers, at least. So it looks to be fairly sharp? Yeah, it's not bad. This stick's kind of green, so yep. it's a little, a little slick. All right, are you ready to try to start a fire? Yeah, I'm about ready. We need to gather up some grass and maybe some of these rushes a little bit? Yep. Okay. Okay, are you all set, Kevin? Yeah, I'm ready. It's a nice day out here. The sun's shining, but there is just a little bit of a breeze. You can see the, the reeds moving around a little bit, but yep. we'll try and... So, just so everyone knows, Kevin's middle name is Daniel Boone. <laughs> can you get some spark? There, yeah, it's there going. It it's going right there. Look at that. Look at that. We didn't get a whole bunch of kindling put together because we didn't really want to get a big fire going, but it worked, didn't it? It worked really well. It was throwing some pretty pretty decent sparks, wasn't it? It did, yeah. It was real easy. Turn up your jacket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a pretty good test. Thanks, Kevin. You're welcome. Well, now, Kevin, only, only you can prevent forest fires. Well, I may not have done Daniel Boone justice, but... Uh, <laughs> so, what's your overall impressions? I know you did some knife work, you know, off camera and that, so why don't you just give us a summary on that knife? Sure. Um, I did a little bit of whittling just to, to get a feel for it. Um, one of the things, the more I worked with it, I noticed that this little, there's a little hook here on the end, and for my hand, it kind of dug right into my little finger. Um, was a little uncomfortable for that. What size gloves um, do you wear? Large uh, or large extra? To extra large. Uh, yeah, so yep. probably in kind of an average size hand. So maybe with gloves on, that wouldn't have been an issue. Uh, but other than that, it it has good balance and feels pretty good. Um, I did strike a few times here just to get the paint off the uh, steel here just a little bit. Um, but once I did that and kind of got a a feel for the knife in my hand. Um, it, it had a really good spark that it would throw. Um, it did use a little dryer lint. And cheated you there. cheated? Uh-oh. <laughs> but you should be able to see on the video that it, it did throw a good spark, so whatever you ha um, have available, it, it should... Uh, yeah, the big thing is it's, it throws the sparks. And yeah. If we'd been up here at the right time of the year, like these cattails, we could have got the fluff out of the cattails and it would act just like dryer lint too. So I mean, there was, there's plenty of stuff around here we could have used. But um, so well, thank you so much, Kevin. We really appreciate you doing this review for us. Oh, I got that for five dollars on discount at, at Walmart. I think they're normally seven or eight. What would you recommend? Is it, is it worth five dollars to have for a backup? Or I think so. Even or, just, just going out in the woods, backpacking or something. If, you know, sometimes you do lose them. And, but for the price, um, it'll get you by. Or a beginner's knife. Right. Some a beginner knife for someone's first fixed blade or something to throw in your sack to have a spare. So. Right. Yeah, it'll do the job. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Kevin.